What we did was offer up 860,000 images from over 85,000 women in Western Washington in de-identified form with clinical outcomes. And we offered that to coders worldwide. So we had over 1,100 participants, uh, 44 top coding teams throughout the world, to figure out a way uh, for them to code an algorithm that could interpret a mammogram better than a radiologist. We found uh, a couple of interesting things. First, um, the best coders in the world couldn't develop an algorithm that beat the human interpretation by radiologists in the US, at least right now. The second thing we found was that when we took the best groups together and made them work together to build another algorithm, that algorithm in combination with a radiologist's interpretation actually did improve accuracy. I think we're entering an era of big data and big data analytics where we could really improve accuracy for screening and really improve the value of screening mammography. I think one of the roles for AI and mammography is actually clearing the obviously negative mammograms. And if we could clear that from our work list of, of 40 million mammograms being done in the US every year, and having these expert radiologists concentrate on the ones that are more complex and confusing, then it actually helps our resourcing. And radiologists could focus on the exams and the issues that are gonna make a clinical impact. If we have supercomputers and algorithms that could detect things that the human eye can't perceive and include that in our interpretation, then radiologists will have improved accuracy. That also means that women will have improved accuracy for their screening mammograms and less missed cancers and less recalls for false positives. What you hear from this challenge and others like it that have been published recently all these are theoretical. Um, they're simulations. They're not real clinical trials. What we need is to take these really promising algorithms and validate them in large screening populations to show that they're truly effective.